check, check. The Basement Grow Show is going to get started very shortly. Grab your buds. You probably already grabbed them because you've been waiting 20 minutes. Which means you probably already smoked two or three joints. But let me know. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Let me know. Check, check. Check, check. Lights, camera, action. Mike, check. Checky, checky. My name's not Becky. The back of the scenes was Recky, Recky. Having a bit of trouble backstage. We got things dialed in, and the show is now. Started. I don't know what this new dance move is, but kind of got me fired up a little bit because we've been trying to get this running for the last 13 minutes. You know what they say, man. If you're not 13 minutes late, then you fucking shouldn't really show up at all, man. Welcome to the show. What are you guys puffing on? Because I honestly haven't had a chance to puff yet because I just cooked up the most delicious dinner I have had in a while. Have you tried that yet, babe? You haven't tried it. Oh, my God. Guys, first off, welcome to the show Joe gives Becky, no, loud and clear, what's going on? Elevated Gardens in the house, Norma G, we got Larry, we got Slayer 420, we've got Green Leaves Grower in the house, Roofs Goofy growing, how you doing my friend? We got Waked and Baked with Paul, we got Doc Holiday. Doc, I hope you're well buddy, it's been a while since I've seen your face in here. Talita Lime, smoking with some grateful, man we're smoking on... You know what we're smoking on? We're going to show you what we're smoking on. We're smoking on some unicorn sherbet from our friends over at Cult Classic, man. This is one that we grew. This is the butt of it right now. We're, we're sparking her up as we speak, man, because honestly, I've been saving this bud for a while. It's just a perfect time to spark her up. Grower Joe, it's Joe Grower. I'm not a grower, I'm more of a shower, but when I'm showing, it doesn't really matter, man, because you can't really see it. Anybody drink Fresca? I'm a Fresca drinker, man. Good old grapefruit, carbonated soda. I'm a little dry. We're going to have a little sip. Alabama, hanging down there. Not much, not much, Mr. Awesome Badass. We got a lot of stuff on the go in the garden, but I honestly just wanted to get back into the swing of things and get on here on a Tuesday night like I said I was going to at the beginning of the year, and we're supposed to be consistent Tuesday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern. That's 9 p.m. my time. We're supposed to be jumping on here. We went live the other night, man. We got a lot of cool growers on here to chat about, to chat about, to talk about a lot of cool things, man. We had growers from all over the world on here. Love the Fresca original. Okay, by me. What's up, Basement? He's smoking on some wedding cake. I love wedding cake. Norma G, what's up to you as well? Not much, Larry. Nice to see you. What I was saying. What was I saying? Were you listening to what I was saying, babe? No. Can't remember what I was saying. What I was saying is we jumped on here and a bunch of growers from all over the world started calling in. We took live phone calls. and We talked about other people's gardens for once, which was kind of a change because right now, the girls are in the seedling stage. They're not that they're not that really exciting. So you can only really talk about them so much. Now we will pop in the garden and show you what we're going on cuz if you're new here you're going to want to see what genetics we're running. Kind of see the grow room and see everything set up. But for now, cheers from me. Tuesday night, I should probably clean my bong, but you know what? We're going to have a puff anyway. This unicorn sherbet, man, it is something else. I'm going to bring up uh, the cult classic here on Instagram. It's one of those strains that really makes you just want to have a good time and get in the kitchen, man, and start cooking. Like, we cooked up a meal here that was made just from leftovers. We got we cut up some steak, man, from Costco. Costco steak, by far, the best. 
Anyways, put some fries, green peppers, onions, a little bit of gravy. Boom, bada, bang. The best. All right. Here we go. Let's head over to Instagram real quick and show you guys what's going on. That's not going to show you that. That's going to show you my screen. We're going to go there. Boom. Right over to Instagram. We're going to bring this up. We're going to come over here. We're going to move that right over. Boom. First and foremost, guys, if you're not subscribed here, all you do is come over and hit subscribe. All right? You're going to want to check that out. Let's head over to Instagram. We're going to go to Cult Classic. Yeah, there they are right there. So these guys right here, zero post. That's the logo you're looking for. Great. Unbelievable. Well, I probably shouldn't even, maybe, yeah, let's get off of there. See, that's what happens when I when I go live on a random night when I'm not really set up to go live. Everything can kind of get out of hand pretty quick. You can get really off the rails quick. Um, but we got to get back to one thing, and I want your guys' help with this because I had a couple things on my screen written down here that I want your guys' help with to help me with my next live over on Cantaflix. So if you don't know about Cantaflix, guys, we do a live show over there. We bring on all kinds of guests and interview them. Our next guest is Jorge Cervantes. Is it Cervantes or Cervantes? Um, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but we all know who Jorge is. Let me know some questions that you want to know him answer. You want to hear him answer. <laughs> Let me know that, and then we're going to head into the grow room and show you guys what's going on in there real quick. Let's hit in, guys, and show you what's going on. You probably aren't going to be able to hear me that well. Maybe you can. Can you hear me out there still, babe? Yeah. Give you a quick rundown, guys. Here's the pure genetic started sugar. This is good. Here's the raw genetic. Sunset smoothie. Here's the nana glue. And here's the chocolate shop genetics. Then come in at 77 degrees, 60% humidity. Don't pay any attention to these guys. We're off the rails. Off the rails. Probably hard to hear. Probably couldn't really hear a fucking thing. I doubt it. Guaranteed. Can't hear a thing, can you? Not one. Fucking single thing. That's a POV cam. <laughs> oh, shit. Messed up in the basement. He's gone. There he was. Man. Woo. Let's go. We need a wireless mic. We got a wireless mic. I just don't know how to rig it up. We need to figure out how to rig it up. I've got the full microphone. I just don't know how to hook it up so we can go into the system but let's get into what we were going to get into and we're going to start taking some live phone calls right away let's get the phone set up here we'll get the number set up and we'll start taking some live phone calls right now go ahead and call in guys the numbers on the screen call in we'll have a chat let me know what you're growing let me know what you want to ask me let me know what you want to talk about man go ahead and call in it's kind of open to everybody it's an American number. I don't know if it costs anything or not to call in, but love to talk to you. I want him to admit he is personally responsible for powdery mildew in the United States. Jerry, a lot of people don't know this about me. But one time back in 1962, I had a canned good called powdery mildew. Can't even say it right now because it just makes me so emotional to admit this live on the air. But I am 100% responsible for all the powdery mildew around the United States of America. <laughs> Hit that like button, guys, and call in. I want to chat with you. Hit that like and call the button. We, should, <laughs> we got a caller on the line. One second here. What's going on? You're on the basement grow show. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? 
Oh, I got you now, you man. What's going on? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Am I coming in clearly now? Oh, I got you clear as day, man. How the hell? How the hell are you making out? Good, good, good. I've been under the weather the last couple of days, but I'm feeling pretty good today. So I'm doing a lot better than I was. Where are you from, brother? Uh, I'm from Texas. Texas. This is Rue. Texas, man. This is Rue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh Rue, fuck! Man. What's up, Rue, man? How you making out, brother? Oh, nothing. Good, good, good. Hanging in there, just you know, trying to do my thing, grow my grow my own medication like everybody else, and do the best I can, and hopefully, uh, help to get uh, help from this community. You know, you're killing it, dude, man. I love your fucking shit, dude. Keep fucking making reels and shit too. You crack me up with some of them, brother. Yeah, yeah. I try. I try my best. I try my best. What do you got on the go right now, man? What are you growing? Uh, I got some skunk from Captain uh, Redbeards and uh, Fruity Pebbles, and I just uh, germinated some other stuff. Um, some dude sent me some seeds. He wanted me to try them out. I think they're called Mystery Greens or something like that. There's some regular ones. I think he, you know, he just threw them to me. I told him I'd run them, and then uh, I got some. Hey, what else I got? Uh, shit, I got some pure indica about to come up, and I got a few auto flowers going on, too. I'm, Man, where's I'm that fruity? My, my, where's that fruity uh, pebbles from? from uh, United Campus Seeds. United Campus Seeds is where the fruity pebbles are from. Nice, man. I love so, yeah, fucking I like fruity that pebbles, one, man. man. Dude, yeah, dude, it's coming along nicely. The, the, the skunk and the fruity pebbles are coming along good. I, I even told Norma Jean they... And I opened up my tent, and man, it smelled like skunk. It smelled, it smelled so good. That's I love fucking it. awesome. It's like that true skunk. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, not not, not the fruity skunk, but skunk skunk. You know, the straight up, uh, you know, punching the mouth. Norma G's in the chat right now saying, Rue's in the uh, house. Yeah. Fucking love you know it, man. It, you know it, baby. You and Norma, are, you you know Norma it, baby. became buddies, eh? Yeah, yeah, man. He's man. He's one of my my number one supporter. He's always you know you know like comment and all that stuff on my all my stuff. So I appreciate so him, cool, man. man. He's uh he's throughout the whole community, man. I know he supports pretty much anybody out there that's you know really really trying to grow and stuff like that. So he's he's a damn good dude. I tried to get him to come on the show. I want to have him on his first. I I'm hoping I can get him on on a live show at some point to show his face. Yeah. Uh, before the end of time, but his yeah, mom yeah. still doesn't know that he smokes weed, eh? Yeah, I guess he's still hiding out, man. You know, hey, mama, man, you can't disappoint mama sometimes, man. It's a hard thing to let mamas down. So I understand that a little bit, but me too, uh, man. You know, I understand hey, it too. We sooner or later you got to come out of the closet, you know. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent, man. Hundred <laughs> percent. Rue's, Rue's in that can of closet, isn't he? Oh my! Yeah. Oh, not Rue. Norma is. <laughs> Norma's in no, that no, fucking yeah, can of closet. No, I, 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 I let it be known to everybody I smoke. I don't, I don't hide that shit at all. Oh Dude, fuck, I can tell. The first thing I say, if I meet you, I'm like, hey, what's up? You smoke weed? <laughs> oh, me too. That's what I do. That's the first fucking question Rue's asking everybody. Rue, man, you're a fucking kick-ass dude, man. Are you heading to any cannabis conferences this year, or anywhere? Man, I was. Man, I'm trying my hardest to make it up to Canada to the one you're going to this the 24th, but I don't think. I'm going to make it up there. Oh, really? Uh, you man, were going to go to that? To. I'm wondering how many people I'll, I'll might go to that. I'm hoping I meet man, a few. I was really trying to. I was hoping. I was hoping. It still might happen. I don't know. I might. I might uh, if I got some things going on that I can get the money, it'll be cool. And I'll go up there if I can get it. But I, I don't think I, I don't see me getting that money the way I'm supposed to. So I hear you, man. Yeah. Sometimes things just don't come together. But you know what? When I talked exactly. to Tommy Chong that time, man, he 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 talks a lot about serendipity, man, and how things happen for a reason. Yeah. I'm a strong believer yes, in sir. that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What about you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dude, listen, man, I appreciate you calling in, man. Make sure you shout out your page real quick so everyone in here knows where you're calling from. All right, it's Ruth Goofy Growing. It's at Ruth Goofy Growing on Insta. And it's uh, YouTube. I got a YouTube channel and all that. And I'm on actually on Twitter now. Uh, everybody needs to be starting going to Twitter. I'm at a Ruse Goofy on Twitter, Twitter, and they're they're kind of friendly over there. So hit the Twitter that? up. What's that Twitter? You on fucking Twitter and Tinder at the same time, eh, Rue? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
to get a little tongue tied. Holy fuck, Rue. Rue, swiping right, guys. Meet up with him over on Tinder and Twitter. <laughs> I got both my hands working. You know oh, I mean? shit, dude. I love it, man. Are you, you're married, Rue? You married? Yeah, I am. I'm married. I'm married. I got four kids, dude. You got four fucking kids, man? How old are they? Yeah. Yeah, one's about to graduate high school. My youngest one's in first grade. Oh, shit, dude, man. You're like, you're working for a bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's sure. a lot of fun, though, too, man. That's cool, man. How do you is, uh, man. How do you treat this plant, like, uh, with your kids? How do you, how are you kind of treating it? Uh, man, everybody knows. Um, I have my tent wide open during the day. They know uh, my, my, my first, like I said, my little first grader, she sees a little marijuana leaf. She goes, oh, that's Ruth Goofy growing. Ruth Goofy growing. Oh <laughs> that's gosh. how she knows. You know, that's what she knows. She sees a, a weed leaf. She already knows Ruth Goofy growing. So, that's hilarious, uh, I don't dude. hide it at all. I re- I, like I said, I really don't hide it. I try to make it more normal than drinking a beer. I stopped drinking, you know, two years ago, and I love it. I stopped drinking and doing hard drugs. And, man, I just love growing my own cannabis. Fucking right, man. I didn't realize that I kind of, I didn't really quit drinking. I still drink every now and then, but I drank heavily, didn't we, Rach? Like, we would party a lot, drink a lot, but then, oh, like, I once I started smoking weed, once I started, oh, you were in a, yeah. you were a full-blown alcoholic. Dude, 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 uh, I, dude, I was waking up in the morning, and I'd take, like, a little fucking half bottle of whiskey, like, the little, the little ones. That you get like at the little like the. What do you call the, those? Liquor, what do you call uh, those in in Canada? We call them like Mickey's. Little pints or whatever. Some yeah. Sometimes some people just call them little pints or the the, the smalls or whatever. Uh, I, a lot of people have different ones. I call them. I think they're little pints or whatever. And I mean, I used to take about half of that in the morning, dude. Before I didn't even go out to to be electrician, fucking with wires and shit. Oh <laughs> shit, to, dude, man. Problem. And and now <laughs> and now you don't drink at all. I don't drink at all. No, dude, that, that was my main downfall was drinking. That's uh, unreal, dude. dude. I, I tried quitting drugs, and I'd go out drinking, and what the fuck I'd fall back into is doing drugs. That was my, that's the devil right there. That's the gateway drug, 100%. 100%, dude. Awesome, man. Thanks for sharing your story, Gru. I appreciate you, brother. Uh, no problem, bro. I appreciate you get, letting me get on here, man. Have a good one, man. Have a good night. All right. All right, ladies, ladies, Gromies. See you, buddy. What's going on? We got another caller. Yeah, hello. What's going on? 14 times. 14 times. 14 times. Is this Larry? Yeah. (laughs) How many many, many times did I call this time? Oh, you didn't call 14 times this time. I don't think it didn't ring at least, man. No, I just been blowing your cat out. Larry, man, I got a question for you, buddy. uh, All right. How long ago did you start smoking cannabis? I was nine years old. Holy fuck, Larry. I Nine years growing, old, man? I was growing at the age of seven. What the fuck? You grew you grew your own weed to smoke your own fucking first joint. <laughs> I come from a I came from a very poor family. Now you're and, uh, now you're taking um, my laughter away, man. I don't want I don't want you to tell I don't want you to tell me the sad stories, Larry. All right. But hey, hey, there's something I want to say to everybody in chat. There's there's a couple people I want to say hi to. Norma G, you're the greatest, buddy. Um, Easy Buds, um, Dan Marino, all you guys. I follow every one of you guys. You're awesome. You're fucking awesome, too. Are you there? You're awesome, too, Larry. You know, I'm fucking here, awesome. buddy. Everybody in chat. It's, it's about the community coming together and doing what you're doing. And what you're doing, Joe, you're making people laugh and enjoying life more. Well, I fucking appreciate that, buddy. I got another question for you. Do you own a motorcycle? I own two of them. What do you got, bud? I have a 750 Honda and I have a 250 Honda Rebel. You got a 250 Honda Rebel? What year is that? Uh, I'm not sure what year that one is. You still ride them at all? 
Yeah, if the weather gets right. Man, that'd be cool if, like, someday one of us, like, all of us got to get on a ride together, man. I used to have a hey, Harley, but I ever, sold my Harley. If you ever if you ever come close to me, man, I got two bikes. We can go riding anywhere. Dude, I would go for a ride with you for sure, dude. That'd be so cool. I, I mean, I, I, got, I got your own bike for you. You ain't got to ride, bitch. <laughs> I'm not riding, bitch. <laughs> not a chance. <laughs> Uh, you be making me hold the fucking joint for you too. I'd have, I wouldn't even be holding on. I'd just be fucking two joints, one over the front, one over the other in front of you. <laughs> yeah, right. Dude, I smoke all the time, man. Oh shit, I man. Larry, dude, like back yeah, in back in the day. So you obviously got to smoke some some pretty cool strains back in the day. And now you're starting to I, smoke some of these new strains. Do you notice a difference, man? Is is it weed better now, or was it better back then? Um, we had just as good as, as weed back then. I mean, it was full season, but it was killer. I mean, we 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 had some dirt weed. Yeah, we smoked some of that shit too. I mean, yeah, fuck. I, you know, I grew I grew I grew a lot of weed in my life, and um. I gave a lot away, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you're a nice guy, man. What are you growing now? Yeah, are you growing yeah. autos and photos, Larry? Uh, right now, I just think I got, I got three autos. Nice, dude. And they're doing a mad job. Oh, they're beautiful. Norma G, I, I, I show pictures of Norma G and everyone. He was they're, they're they're in the chat. You were growing weed when you were seven. You know what I was doing when I was seven? And I... And, Pushing I, I, fucking I, dinky cars I, around I, that I, soil that you were growing in. <laughs> I, I took my first toke when I was eight, and I really smoked when I was nine. But I was helped growing when I was seven because my cousins was teaching me. Man, what kind of kid were, were you? What kind of kid were you to start smoking were, weed at nine? Because I was bipolar. So were you just like were you just this little gremlin growing up, or? I was a little hellion there, and uh, <laughs> I ran the woods and the creeks. Oh, what do you mean by that? You ran the woods. Um, I grew up in the woods. Like you just lived in the woods, man? No, no, I, no, no. I didn't live in the woods. I lived. Well, my family lived in the woods in, in a house, but I. I trampled around in the woods and the creeks and stuff. Oh, fuck. You you had me convinced there for a minute that you were fucking this. Because, you, you were this wolf kid in the woods. <laughs> dude, I was, I was growing in trees. I was growing on creeks. And, and the planes were following me and uh, trying to. It was horrible. Fuck, dude, man, you you lived it. <laughs> you you had THC in your fucking bloodstream, man, for your whole life. Like you, you probably got fucking, you got trichomes on the end of your fucking armpit hair. I bet. <laughs> I hate that stuff when it gets in your eye. You can't see nothing. <laughs> you fucking definitely can't, Larry. <laughs> hey, we, but you know, back in the day, we got to thank the helicopters and the planes for looking for our pots. Because uh, we started tying them down, and what we found out, it, they blew up. What do you mean? <laughs> it's stress training. Oh, so when you you guys you guys learned how to low stress train based on the planes flying over. That's why we did it, and we found out later on. Now today it's stress training, but back then it's called hiding them from the plane. Yeah, it was stress training back then too. You're stressed; those motherfuckers were gonna find your plants. <laughs> Joe, I didn't. I didn't just grow a plant here and there. I grew hundreds of plants. So, like, what's your biggest harvest? Like the most amount of plants that you've ever grown that you know? Probably a thousand. Holy fuck, Larry. seriously, <laughs> dude! I've been growing for a very long time. You fucking like your voice makes me sound. It, it, your voice makes pictures me putting you in like this field with thousands of plants, and you're having fucking orgies with these female trimmers at nighttime. Is, am I right? <laughs> hey, I got this video. I got yo check this. I got this video where I'm sitting, laying in my marijuana patch, and I hear cops all around me. 
<laughs> with sirens going on. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, when you said I got this video no, after I, I said it. orgy. I got it on video, dude. I got it on video. When when you said video after I said orgy, I thought we were about to start an OnlyFans, Larry. We were going to put that video out, you and I. We were going to get rich. <laughs> hey, let, let, let's make a better Cheech and Chong movie. <laughs> dude, I would love to make a Cheech and Chong movie. I'm hoping that I'm hoping that Tommy sticks, a lot, uh, sticks around long enough that... Uh, and I and I get a big enough um, support system around me that we can make something like that someday. That'd be pretty damn cool. Oh yeah, D- dude, you're on your way. You're on your way making a movie like that. Have you ever, uh, you know, Larry? Larry, have you ever had a gun pulled on you before, man? I have been shot. You've been fucking shot before? What? Yeah, I, I've also been knifed. Where have, Where have you been shot? In the shoulder. What for, man? What, what's going on with that? Like, was this cannabis? I don't want to talk about that. Hey, yeah, check this out. Both of my ankles have been broke 14 times. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't want to talk about that, but my ankles have been broken 14 times, he says. Larry, yeah. man, you and, are. Hey, I've had three lower back surgeries, and I've had neck surgery and spinal surgery on my spinal cord and stuff. Fuck, Larry, man. What Were you a fucking stunt devil or what? <laughs> um, I was a kid that was wild in the woods. <laughs> what was your... Have you ever worked? Have you ever had a job or have you always done your own thing? Yes, yes. Yes, I worked in one of the biggest duck factories in the world. What'd you do there? Um, We killed uh, 40,000 ducks a day. 40,000 ducks a day. How do you kill 40,000 ducks a day, man? A lot of Spanish people. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, Larry. Larry, you are fucking gaining. I, work, a- I worked at Maple Leaf. <laughs> I worked at Maple Leaf for five years, man. I was a supervisor. Fuck. I should, should I be eating that meat? I'm okay to eat that meat. Oh, absolutely! Fucking right. I hope so. Absolutely. Was that what was your you favorite? For you, man. What was your favorite job you ever had, man? Any really cool jobs you had when you were a kid? Yes, yes. Um, I used to be a security guard for the Morio Coliseum and and uh, Indianapolis. Um, I used to be a security guard for famous singers. Oh, that'd be cool, man. Used, so who who have you met? Their buses. Pink, Creed, Corn, Alan Jackson, Longstar, uh, Ted Nugent, um, Shania Twain. Oh, shit. Um, uh, corn, Corn, you know what they did? What'd they do? All the potato chips they had in, in, in the Coliseum, the, all, everybody in the band grabbed a box and took it to my car and dumped them in it. <laughs> Corn's fucking wild, <laughs> eh? The fucker up. They didn't put the box. They filled my car completely full. I couldn't even see. Well, well, they filled your car like fucking like on movie style, filling it to the rim. Yeah, oh, like, it's like someone would do that to Chu Chin Chong. <laughs> oh fuck, Larry, I got another question they, for you. They, dude, that ain't the worst part. You know what he did? He took my fucking joint. He took your doobie. Yeah, he took my joint and smoked it. Oh fucking weasel! Took it right from you. <laughs> What's your favorite? That's not right, we got man. some people. Uh, all the pages I got. Um, we got some people wondering what your favorite Shania Twain song is. Oh my god, I ain't really got a favorite one. Fuck man, and you know who my my the best singers that I really connected to was Pink and uh, Brad or Three Doors. Pink was and hot. Pink. I met her when she first started out. I was her uh, first security guard she ever had. She still remembers me today. Oh, you were a security guard. So when they came to the Coliseum, you were you were their security guard for the day. For their bus, yes. I wasn't allowed to let nobody on their bus. And during the week, I also used to. Uh, I have farmed for thirty years on a dairy farm, which caused me to have uh, back injuries. Yeah, man. 
You got back injuries from getting on Pink's bus and laying the laying the meat to her, didn't you? Did did you yeah. or did you not? Oh no, <laughs> she's a god. Uh, it was awesome to meet her, dude. And, and Brad on Three Doors was amazing. I got a whole bunch of autographs around here somewhere. That's pretty cool, man. That's awesome, Larry. Man, listen, these guys want us to have you on sometime. We're gonna have you on sometime. Yeah, that would be nice. And um, I'm going to be getting on Instagram and teaching everybody how to get rid of gnats out of their grow room without using any chemicals. When are you going to do that, buddy? Sometime this week. I have been really busy with some doctors and stuff. You all right? Yeah. They found out what was wrong with me. Yeah, that big dick syndrome, man. It, eh? it, it, took, it, it took two years, man. I had I had a parasite and they thought I had cancer. Oh shit, dude! I'm glad you're getting better, man. I thought it was the big dick syndrome you were I telling just got me my about. Medicine yesterday. I just got my medicine yesterday, and it, it's I seem stronger today. I'm getting energy back, but I, I thought I was gonna die. To be honest with you, man, if you, I have lost so much weight. I hope you don't die, man. You're not going to die, buddy, because I'm I, not, hey, I can't. I can't. I mean, you got to get to smoke together, is Fucking right. We're, we're smoking together. We're smoking together first. But I'm doing first. good, man. Yeah, you're doing good, and man. With everybody, yeah, with everybody's prayers in the chat, I, cheers to all you guys, man. I follow almost every one of you guys I can because I look at everybody's plants. I try to. Yeah, whatever you do, just don't follow that Norma G one because... They are just not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, oh, but there's something I want to say to everybody in chat. Hey, go ahead. If you don't vote for Grower Joe, um, you don't go here. <laughs> you don't belong here. Yeah, if you don't, if you don't vote for Grower Joe, you don't belong here. Uh, if you don't grow for Joe, you must go. <laughs> right. There we go. Larry, hey, I want to give a, get well, love buddy. It. I am well. I am well, man. I got a good family that loves me. I love you too, but, man. Uh, I, you know, the one thing I, I would love to have is a guy friend to come and visit me. I don't. Have no one I lives have, close uh, to you? My, my families are all girls. You got no one close and to I you eh, on Instagram? Friends. All my friends are on the internet. I have no, all my friends are on the internet. Most of mine Norma are G, too now, man. I will, I've only got a couple. Yeah. Jesse James and all of them, man. Follow them all. 100%, man. Shout a out to Larry. Shout out to Norma G. A awesome, brother. Shout out to Norma G. We got another yeah. call coming in, Larry. Great on. I love you, man. Bye. Love you too, buddy. I think we might have hung up on them. We're going to call these people back. You ready? Sperling Director Service. This is Alan. I will call you back as soon as I get back in the truck. Thanks. Wrong number. <laughs> Wrong number. He's going to call us back as soon as he gets back in the truck, man. Alan, Basement Grow Show took my car to the mechanic and told him it was making too much noise. He told me it was a loose knot behind the wheel. Ba -ba -boom. Da -da -da. Easy buds. Easy buds, he's got the best jokes on the internet. Alright, here we go. One second here, not yet. Uh press one if you'd like to be on the basement grow show. Oh <laughs> what's going on, man? Hello man, I must be a little bit lag behind or something. I couldn't hear you on my computer. It's all different. Can you hear me now? Yeah. No, I can hear you on my phone. It's just not 
same timing on the computer. Yeah, man. I feel like the internet's like on the delayed future, right? Like when we're on here, it's almost like when you're on the radio and it will echo back and forth. Well, I always wondered how the live shit works, dude. Like when you start it live, I don't know. You started at a different time, but hey, man, I was asking earlier about algae on top of the soil and nobody answered. Is it such a terrible thing to have that up there? Everybody's saying to kill it. What, you have, like, green algae on the top of your soil? Yeah, just a little bit. Well, I mean, just now, but... Yeah, how, how old are the plants? Three weeks? Yeah, I would kill it. Really? Yeah. All right. I, w- I don't know if you'd have so to I'm kill the whole... Right. I don't know if you'd have to kill the whole plant. Like what I've done a couple times is, like, taking that top layer of soil off and then just re-top dressed. And I've been okay, but okay. I would just keep an eye on it, man. It depends on how bad it is. If you want to send me a, a DM of it, I'll look at it and give you my opinion. I mean, my you opinion is not really. Yeah, mine's not worth a whole lot. But if it's just like, if it's nothing crazy, you might be able to just kind of scrape back that top surp- surface and uh, and fix it. <laughs> Sometimes when too much water sits on the surface and the light gets to it, it will it will make algae on you too. I think that's what I did, dude. I'm just kind of. You know, started watching you and started getting into it. And so, uh, yeah, I'm learning. Where are you from, dude? From Montana, dude. I called in on Sunday, actually. It's Jeff. Oh, shit. What's up, Jeff, man? What's going on? Nah, we, got our, we got our first fucking, frequent caller, Jeff. Fucking love I it, know. Jeff. Well, fucking nobody was calling in. So I was like, well, all right. But I think my computer, like I said, I'm off time. So I don't even know what's even going on right now with you guys. It's just us, but man. I'm burning just... on some uh, some miracle alien cookies. Stupid Ooh. fire, dude! One of the best strains I've ever smoked on. What's the uh, what's it like for laws in Montana, man? Like, are you allowed to buy it at, at dispensaries or the government ran? Like, what's it look like for that? Oh yeah, no, it's right. It's all wreck. It's med. It was med. Then they shut it down, and then they they like got it too crazy, and they shut it down, and then they opened it back up for wreck and med. I don't know how many plants you can grow, though. I didn't look that up yet. Yeah, yeah, that's really irrelevant, really, right? <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm, I I wasn't that worried about it. So As long as you're um, not being too yeah. too ridiculous, you'll probably be okay. Now, when you say it's wreck, are the dispensaries ran by the government, or can like you open up a dispensary and start selling cannabis? Yeah, I think all you have to have is like, a concrete foundation. That's like the thing, and you got to be like out of city limits in certain spots. Cause they even change like Red Lodge. They have like a local tax. So like it's 20% if you're from wherever, but if you're local in Red Lodge, you only have to pay 3%. It's crazy. So I don't, I mean, I'm assuming a state runs that shit if they can do that or even the, you know, county by the county. It's like so Colorado, weird, man. Like here, local, here where I live, man, the government runs the dispensary and the fucking weed is trash, man. Like it's garbage. Yeah, but at least when the government does it, it's just flat out across the board. And you don't have to wait for your stay, you know? That makes sense. I don't know. I you Once you've learned, you know, to grow your own stuff, it's like, I don't even know why you go to a dispensary. I, I don't want to shit on dispensaries, but, I mean. The only once, time once I'll go to a dispensary, it, why you'd ever. I'll go to get, like, a little treat, like, um, like some diamonds or, or some sauce or something like that that I want to dab. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, for real. Or like some pre-roll joints if I'm going on a road, road trip and I don't want to roll them up myself, something like that. A little treat every now and then. But uh, I'm never really well, buying flour. Too. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I just you see some of the pictures, man, and it's like, dude, that's too frosty. You can't get it. It just, it just touches too much stuff, you know, on the way to the store. I feel like, I don't know. Yeah, it'd be cool one of these days, man, where you can just buy it from somebody. Like, buy it from you or well, I or, you know what I mean? Have the ability yeah, to, to do shit like that. I think that would be cool someday, man. Well, they got to drop this whole felons can't be in the industry bullshit, though. That's, you know, that's getting old. Yeah. But, yeah, if you're a felon, you cannot work in the marijuana industry in the whole nation, I'm pretty sure. What makes you a felon? Like, is that certain crime yeah so like i have habitual uh possessions for marijuana when i lived in wyoming that's why i moved you have a marijuana charge and you're not allowed to work in marijuana yeah so i have habitual you know by the state so it's habitual i got you get three 
strikes with any of them. You know, it can be meth, weed, whatever. Yeah, dude, habitual weed, then they give you a felony, dude, I did 14 months over it. It was a bummer, man. I miss my kids, like, first few years of their life over it. It was a bummer. You, you, um, like, yeah. you think they'd put that down. That should just be on your resume as experience now. Like, you should have a benefit. You should be moved into it quicker. That should be experience, right? Well, when I, when I would get caught up in that stuff, then I got with a bunch of bad people, and I got bad on heroin and stuff, and... You know, they, it, things just went way bad, but... uh You've done heroin you know, this before? This has been, like, one of the best things. What does that... Oh, I was super bad, bro. What, is her- but, like, what uh, does a heroin feel like? Feels like hot water running down your face. Hot water if running you shoot down it. your face. That's so it's scary. It's bad news, dude, though. It catches you up. Yeah, man, it is scary. It's bad stuff in the fentanyl. That's another reason why I think growing's a good deal, because now there's, like, fentanyl on bud and... That's super sketchy, but uh, yeah, and it's a crazy I'm, world we live in. But cannabis is uh, I don't know. It's always done good on me. Yeah, man. I'm 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 honestly cannabis and my like my hard drug, I guess, would be mushrooms, man. Like mushrooms is the only thing that's really kind of making me go a bit nuts. If if you eat I too many mushrooms, with Mike, I'm at a crossroads in life. That's what I use mushrooms for. Mushrooms are uh, a couple times a year for me just to kind of reset and, and see what's going on. I'm saying, man, yeah. No, for sure. And they, uh, well, cool, they man. I'm glad you reset. told me about that algae, though. Yeah, a lot of guys, that's, too, that's are saying. That's a real uh, bad deal, huh? A lot of guys are saying pot up, too. Just uh, maybe transplant it. Really? Yeah. But I, I've, I've never done yeah. that before, but a lot of people saying pot up. I think you'd be okay, well, man. I was like hoping I didn't even have to mess with it. All I was like reading was that it was like you would eat nutrients. It would like suck up some nutrients, but I didn't know it was that bad, like to mess the plant up. Well, you can kind of battle with it, but the shrooms will ground you. Everyone's saying hard drugs for me is alcohol. Yeah, that's no good. Alcohol is the worst oh, drug, man. A bad one. Alcohol is bad, See, I think bad, with alcohol, bad. you can ruin your whole life in like one night. That's why alcohol is a bummer. You can really mess things up pretty quick. Fucking At least right, it's going, it takes a few months. So. Yeah. Holy <laughs> cow, yeah. Fair statement there, man. Alcohol could take her in one day. Yeah, awesome. Dude, Jeff, bummer, man, but, uh, I appreciate you calling in, man. Thank you so much. For sure, girl, Joe. You keep it real, man. You have a good one, brother. We'll talk to you soon. Later, dude. Yeah, buddy. That's Jeff, our first frequent caller, calling in two nights in a row. nice to have cool callers call in it's nice to have all kinds of cool people call in man just all nice all around man and honestly it was just nice to have a really cool show i guess that's gonna be it man big shout out to the chat hit that like button we got scott marshall we got one more phone call actually we got one more phone call we were just we were just about to end the show but you called in so we said, you know what? We're going to take one last phone call. Who do we get on the line? Hey, Joe, what's going on? What's going on? Who are we talking to, man? What's up? Doc Holiday, buddy. Holy fuck, Doc. How you been, buddy? Doc was one of my fucking first callers that I ever had, man. Yes, sir. How you doing, buddy? Hey, man, we're just hanging out. I'm, I'm of course, I'm at work. I work evenings, but you're fucking always just working nights. Chilling, you know. What do you do, Doc? Uh, I'm a building engineer. You're a building engineer. Yeah. Nice. You probably use products that I sell for a living. Oh yeah. Yeah, but I can't tell you who I work for live on the air, unfortunately. But well. Uh, yeah, yeah, hey, that's understandable. Yeah, <laughs> red company starts with an H. Anyways, Doc, man, what do you got on the grow right now, man? You growing right now? No, <laughs> I don't have anything going right now, but I'm getting ready to start some because it's it, it was 72 degrees here today. Fuck, freezing cold here, man. I've I've been trying to get this grow on the go. It's real, 
<coughs> Bless me. It's a real slow start, man. Bless you. Cold temperatures battle and humidity down here, man. I wish I would have just weighed it, but I wanted to get a new uh, grow on the go, man, so I could really kind of get back on here live and consistent, right? Because if you don't have a grow on the go, I'm not down in the basement as much, right? It doesn't make me want to get on here and chat as much, right? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> What do you got on the go, or what are you gonna get going? I guess. What are you gonna What are you gonna pop this um, one? I got uh, I got some seeds that one of the groomies sent me from Instagram. I'm gonna run some of them, um, and uh, I don't know some other seeds that I've gotten in some fairly good weed that I've gotten lately here. I figured oh, I'll man. run them and see what they'll do. You got a couple of unicorn seeds, man. You're going to fucking pop them and see what happens. Yeah. That's the best, man, because yep. every now and then, Doc, man, you hit that lottery and then you got this keeper. I I did, uh, I ran one that I did. It was a uh, gelato cake. And damn, that t- shit turned out good. It was purple as hell. I mean... Purple, where, really good. Purple, where you really don't even realize how crazy purple is. Uh, Home Grow TV just had this purple rosin. Did you see that, man? Do you follow Home Grow over yes. on YouTube? Yes, I did. I did. That Wait. was wild, man. He's a pretty awesome dude, eh? Yeah, I like him, man. Uh, I like him when you two get together. It's pretty awesome, man. You yeah, like to the all suitable. <laughs> We're going to be doing, <coughs> I'm dying over here, Doc. We're going to be doing lots together. Listen, man, I'm going to let you go. I've got the sniffles right now. I'm allergic to this weed. I can tell. I'm getting stuffed up. I need to go blow my nose, brother. So we're going to call her a night. Appreciate you calling in, big guy. Hey, man, be safe, Joe. We love you, bro. Love you too, Doc. Have a good one, man. That's it for me, guys. Hopefully you guys had a good night. Stay tuned for next Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern. We'll do a live garden update, and we might have a secret guest. You're going to have to tune in to find out, man. Live phone calls will be happening that day as well. Thank you so much. Hit the like button before you leave, and then come back in and leave a comment. Helps a lot, guys.